And this evening, a final farewell to renowned educator, author, and civil rights activist. Right now, Dr. Christine King Ferris is lying in state at the Georgia Capitol, and she is one of only four black Amer Americans to have this honor, including her sister-in-law, Coretta Scott King. 11 Alive's Karis Belger was there as dignitaries and the public paid their respects. From her time as a teacher at Spelman College to her efforts on the ground for civil rights, today's service was a chance for the public to pay tribute to the full range of Dr. Christine King Ferris's life and work. And although she walked with kings, she always kept the common touch. The Capitol Rotunda slowly filled with people eager to honor a woman determined to charter a path. Her work as a Spelmanite afforded the opportunity for black women to learn from her grace her brilliance, her poise, her determination. On one side, a portrait of the woman herself, and on the other, the image of the brother whose legacy she helped carry. Her eyes bore witness to so much, yet she never let go of the prize, the prize of freedom, the prize of justice, the prize of peace. Her family, friends, and dignitaries gathered under the dome, and outside, admirers like Venus Dawson gathered for a chance to reflect. I met uh, Dr. Ferris back in 2005 at Spelman College. And uh, some relatives of mine attended Spelman College at the time of that year, so I was able to meet her in person. Crowding together to watch as some of Georgia's most prominent paid tribute to a life lived in service of others. And when she shall die, take her and cut her into little stars. She shall make the face of heaven so fine that all the earth shall grow in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. There will be two more services for Dr. Christine King Ferris, a private musical tribute on Saturday and a final service at Ebenezer Baptist Church on Sunday. Kara Spelger, 11 Alive News.